Calgary homeowners hoping to learn how much they would be paying in taxes this coming year will have to wait another week. Council spent the day debating options on how to ease the tax burden on struggling businesses and if that should be put onto the shoulders of residential property owners. The mayor explains where they stand right now. Option one is the one that I proposed, which reduces non-residential taxes by about 2% and increases residential taxes by a blended 3.45%, which is what we agreed to in the fall, using some predicted provincial tax room to um, reduce that non-residential thing. The other option that is alive for 2019 is a higher increase to residential taxes and a commensurately lower uh, non-residential tax in 2019. The difference between the two options really happens in the future years. They both end up in the same place by 2021. On 2020, 21 or 22 just yet due to the volatility of the market. Councillor Evan Woolley, whose motion wasn't passed, doesn't believe they have enough concrete numbers for the mayor's plan. The mayor's proposal, which is based on assumptions and a number of things that we do not know. We have no idea whether we're getting $26 million from the province in provincial tax room. We have no idea about that. They're in the middle of a, provinci uh, of a provincial election. And so uh, his whole proposal is based on assumptions that we don't know. On the other proposal, I, we don't have the numbers on that yet, but we can guess that that will, uh, that will be a significant increase uh, in residential taxes. Council also agreed in principle to a small business sustainment grant, meaning businesses in trouble could apply for a cash grant to help them stay vibrant and market themselves. The mayor says that will get sorted out May 14th.